Hello, hello my friends. I have big news. I may have signed up for a 25K trail race. It's in one week. The longest run I've done on the date that I signed up for it was six miles. A 25K is like 16 and a half miles on trails, by the way. 3,000 feet of elevation gain. Challenging and painful. He's doing it too. Although he's actually trained for it, so it'll be fine for him. The goal today is to run 10 miles on trails with over 2,000 feet of elevation gain. I'm not feeling confident at the moment. It's gonna be fun. The good news is I have several hours to do this this morning. <laughs> Come along with me as um, we try and train for a trail race, as well as a 70 mile bike race, which is two weeks later. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta do crazy stuff to live an epic life. Guess who's coming with? I mean, not the whole way. We'll bring her back to the car. She is excited. She is excited. Other dogs. She's always excited to see other dogs. We have to climb this. This road climb is literally the worst. I swear, it's almost a 45 degree angle. Hey. hey. What's up? I'm tired. I hear that. My legs are fatigued. Uh, yep, I hear that too. How are you feeling? Um, fatigued. 10 miles. Dave brought Rogue back to the car. This is her little hangout. She's got her bed. Her food and water are here. She was sleeping. And she can't overheat because it's 35 degrees outside. Took a little nappy poo waiting for us to come back. So I'm back. I'm waiting for Dave. He did an extra loop. <sighs> 10 miles today. That was that was pushing my limits of what I am capable of <laughs> for sure. But I feel so much stronger than I did even a week ago. So do you just run 12 miles? I think I did. How you feel? I'm definitely my the bottoms of my feet are all sore. I could probably do one more lap. That'll be pushing it for today. Yeah. It was beautiful this morning. It's a touch chilly, but the sun is out for the first time in a week. Yeah. So that's exciting. I really enjoyed that. Um, I, I would say I enjoyed the first eight miles. Let's go, mama needs food. light oh my gosh it is six o'clock in the morning and it is 35 degrees outside and really foggy so today's bike ride is brought to you by the peloton i'm really hungry this morning so i'm having this g2g bar and i have a water bottle and a caffeine bottle it's just zip fizz and i think i'm gonna kick it off with a one hour ride with my buddy matt because he's my favorite i have a friend working out now Mm, bar class. Nope. <laughs> I like to filter by Matt. <laughs> the Power Zone rides are actually harder than the Power Zone Endurance rides. These stay in zones two and three the whole time. And then the Power Zone rides will get up into the higher zones, five, six, seven. Oh, 75 minutes. Man, I really took a long time getting ready today. <laughs> How about this one? Check out the music. I always like checking out the music. Oh my gosh, that's a throwback. All right, let's do this one. Since it is snowing, we did a treadmill run. This is a Nordic track. Dave got it for free off of the Amazon Marketplace because it was broken and he fixed it. So this is our free treadmill that we've added to our home gym down here. I just did some Peloton classes on the app. Training has not gone how I planned. I've been struggling with some shin splints, but for some reason this trail run, if I do a shorter loop, 
doesn't seem to bother them that much. So today I think is the first nicest day that we have had here in Idaho in 2022. It is sunny and 60 degrees. I expect that I'm gonna get hot. So Rogue and I are here. We're gonna do the short loop today and then Dave wants to take the kids mountain biking tonight. So that'll be like my bike ride. So I'll end up with a total of about two hours of workouts today. Look, she's already ready to go. I'm gonna get my headphones in. Been really digging Angels and Airwaves a lot lately. I'm just gonna go do the thing in some sunshine. Finally. Okay, I've done the first mile at like 250 feet of elevation. This next half a mile has like 300 feet of elevation at least. The camera feels like it levels it out. With my eyeballs, it is clearly very steep. We were down. <laughs> down there. So we've already climbed a good bit. I think this is definitely not going to be one of my fastest uh, loops up here. My legs just feel super tired for some reason. Um, just feeling fatigued. There are bugs out. I haven't seen bugs in seven months. Rogue found ants for the first time. She'd never seen ants before. Did she get one on her face? What is she doing? You can see all those. Are they in your face, girl? She keeps rubbing her face. Totally had an ant right by her lip that was biting her. I got it off. Mom saved the day. She's better. She's not like digging in her face anymore. You know, we have done this trail so many times. This girl knows the way. She knows the way. This part's super hard to run because it's, you can't really run this. It's too rocky. Here's what's super fun is once I go down, I go down right there. I get to climb up this. And then over there is the road back to the car. So that's awesome. Oh my gosh, she is ready to go. She is ready to go. <sighs> We're here at the mountain bike trail to go mountain biking tonight. It's not a long trail, but it's a, like a lot of up and then you ride the whole thing down. It's probably five or six miles total and the trail opened four days ago and I've never seen this many people in this parking lot ever. People are lined up and down the road. There, there's like a team meeting going on over here. I'm a little nervous about like being in people's way now. The clouds are blowing in. What up with that? I'm glad I brought a jacket. This trail is an out and back. You basically climb up <laughs> non-stop as far as you can. Uh, the first junction's about 2.7 miles up. Yes, that's 2.7 miles of climbing, non-stop climbing on a bike. And then you can take a left and keep on going for another 30 minutes if you wanna go all the way to the top. But of course you can stop and turn around and do the whole thing downhill. So we were kind of watching the weather and we got caught in a rainstorm, totally rained on us. So glad. I brought my jacket, made the rocks on the way down a touch slippery, but we were totally fine. The climb on this ride is a little spicy, I gotta say, but something I remember every time I turn around and come back down is that the downhill always makes the climb worth it. This downhill is so long, it takes at least 20 minutes. It's just 20 minutes of solid downhill. It's so much fun. And the trail had just opened, so of course there were a lot of people. We were pulling off to let someone pass. Bike etiquette states that the person climbing uphill has the right of way. Since we were going downhill, we pulled off to let them by. Um, and I was testing out my new mountain bike. I have upgraded to a full suspension bike, my old red one was a hardtail, so this one just glided over the rocks and little jumps like butter. It is amazing. If you wanna know more details about my new bike, uh, feel free to ask me in the comment section and I can geek out about that kind of stuff all day long.
I had a problem this day. It was so windy up on the top of this trail run that uh, you couldn't hear anything that I was saying to the camera. <laughs> Even in post-production, uh, trying to edit the audio, there was just too much wind and it was no good. So here I am. I ran this five miles with my good friend Courtney who did not want to be on camera and it was like 30 mile an hour winds. It was awful. And here comes race day. I feel like I'm trying to figure out how I ended up here. <laughs> this is a 25K trail race. It ended up being exactly 17 miles and the furthest I had run in preparation for this was 10 miles. <laughs> uh, I was feeling really not confident you could say going into this but I figured I knew I could make it 10 miles and I would just take my time and kind of go slow and hopefully eat enough sugar to get me through. So I gotta tell you that's one hour. Yeah. Made it. Nice job. That first big hill is about 15 to 1600 feet and you just go up and up and up for five and a half miles without stopping. And then you get to bomb down for about two miles, which was amazing. I love running downhill. It's I'm weirdly good at it. It's a weird skill to have. I know it was not feeling good at mile 10 and a half. There was an aid station right there. And I was, I was kind of like, I'm, I'm ready to be done here. So I, I did a little bit of hiking and fortunately I was able to come out of that and keep it going. Oh my gosh, we're almost there. Dave has this full race and a ton more footage over on his channel. If you want to go check out the whole thing, I'll leave a link below. If you would like to just hang out with me and Dave running on this trail race, this beautiful Saturday morning. Uh, I can't believe I was able to train for this in about three weeks. It was really hard, but I was wildly proud of myself at the finish line. Thanks for hanging out with me in today's video, and I will see you in the next one.